Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. On this video, this iCast, we're going to be talking about Google+. Now remember, the iCast series is just for you guys. Don't hesitate to ask any questions, but check this out. Hands-free, baby. That's right, I bought a tripod. It cost me $10 and I got it for my iPhone. So these iCasts will be a little more steady. Um, you might also notice I actually put up some lighting in this room. That way, hopefully, we don't have as many issues on... Uh, me looking creepy. So anyways, Google Plus, what is it? Now, Google Plus is Google's method of approaching social networking. Now, Google has been watching the social media market all the way since MySpace, and this has kind of opened up an opportunity for them because what they did is they tried to focus on all the weaknesses of most of these networks. Facebook, as you know, one of the biggest weaknesses is probably the fact that everybody can hear everything that you're doing. This has been actually fixed since Google Plus has been released. Now, Google originally conceived this idea called Circles, and what they decided to do is make certain information exclusive to certain people only. Then, of course, Facebook said, wow, this is a great idea, because one of the most miserable experiences for people who are on Facebook is that they can't share information with just specific groups of people. So they can't really be themselves amidst certain groups. Say, if a group is the family, Sometimes you can't be the same around your family as you can friends. And so Google Plus said, hey, let's make this an integral part of our operating system, I'm sorry, our social media platform. And that's when they uh, implemented the circles. Now, circles are a really cool management system because it also allows users to create circles of niche groups. For example, there's a Nomi's circle, which is just the group of Nomi's that are led by Locker Gnome. But there's also circles for like 101 social media experts. There's circles for social media gurus. There's circles for engineers. There's circles for entrepreneurs. There's tons of circles that users share and it's completely user driven. So in other words, if somebody decides, hey, I want to make a group of people that are about entrepreneurs, that are entrepreneurs and pursuing it actively, they can basically take this circle idea, create their own little circle, and start adding everybody who they feel is an important person. Now, the community tends to weed out the bad circles from the good circles. So what happens is, is they share the circles, say, hey, this is my social media guru circle, circle. They'll grab it, and then they'll say, hey, you know what would be great? Let's add these people to it. And so they'll, it becomes a community effort to build this circle of contacts. Now, that's, another, that's one of the greatest uh, aspects of Google+. And remember, the reason they decided to do this is because Google said, wow, this is one of the biggest frustrations people have. Now, when you go to make a post, you can separate it to certain circles. Let's say you have a family circle, a friend circle, and a social media circle. Well, if you're going to make a post about how to use Google+, Plus or why you might want to consider using Google+, Plus, you don't want to share it with family and friends, usually. So you'll just select the social media circle, and when you share that post, they're the only ones who actually get to see it. And it's isolated. Do you see what I mean? You've, you can isolate your content. And that's one of the greatest, I think, uh, out-of-the-box features that uh, Google Plus implemented. Now, they've also been adding very innovative features. And this is another great reason to consider using it. But remember, Google Plus is not the same as Twitter. It's not the same as Facebook. It's another tool that's available to many people. And it might fit your platform, and it might not. <clears throat> Google Plus, from my experience, has been extremely content -driven, an extremely content-driven platform. Now, what I mean by this is Facebook, it's kind of a way to mingle and, and catch up with friends and interact with friends. Yes, you can do that on Google Plus. Yes, you can even have video hangouts on Google Plus, but it's not really the central focus of it. it it's there as you can have the circles and you can hang out with the circle of friends that you have, but it's not really the sole purpose of it. Facebook, that's kind of it. You know, it's a relationship social network. Whereas Twitter, it's, I love Twitter, it, but it's a drive-by network. It's a great place to meet completely unique in, in new individuals. If you use it right, of course, there's a lot of tools out there that, that allow you to utilize Twitter to its full capacity, but it's a completely different platform. Whereas Facebook's like, hey, let's be like really close-knit stalker, know everything about each other, friends. Twitter's like, hey, let's just pass conversations back and forth, you know, chat every once in a while. It's the equivalent of the original AOL chat rooms, only more grown up. Google Plus kind of takes both of those worlds together and says, hey, let's, let's create a network where people who are creating their own posts, videos, content, artwork, photography, can really kind of share all of it amidst these unique circles that they create. And then they can kind of connect with other people on a content and interest level. So it's more of an interest-driven social network. So you have three whole different things going on there. Now, if you have no interest in connecting with people based solely on their content and interests and things they found on the internet, obviously Google Plus isn't really gonna fit for you. 
If you just want to connect with friends and family, stick with Facebook. If you want to hang out and find really unique, fun people who are hilarious, by the way, on Twitter, I'm sorry, tw like, that you've never met before, hang out on Twitter. I mean, this is, this is kind of a cool trifecta we have going on with social media. So, check out Google+, Plus. I encourage you to. If, you, if you're a content creator of any kind, you write your own blog, create your own videos, or do anything in that matter, advertising a business, you've got to get on Google+. Plus. It's probably one of the, the greatest networking tools as far as social media is concerned out there, right next to LinkedIn. LinkedIn's more closed platform, but that's not always a bad thing. LinkedIn allows for that closed platform of very tight-knit social professional contacts. So there's a lot of good things that can come out of LinkedIn as well, but LinkedIn does limit your capabilities of networking uh, with people you just accidentally come across. It's more of a go out and hunt for a network than it is a, whoa, who's this guy network? I'd, I'd say that's probably the main difference between LinkedIn and Google+. So that's all it is to this video. I hope you guys like this new iCast. I think the lighting worked out okay, but that's up to you. Just uh, let me know. Leave your comments below. And remember, this is the iCast series. Ask me questions. I've got a list of them, and I've really loved doing these videos. I've appreciated the feedback, and I'm going to keep making them. So you keep asking those questions, and I'll keep having stuff to rant on about. Thanks again.